Hello and welcome back. It's time for another one of my favorite desserts. This time I'm going to make a simple and easy fudge. This will be so good you'll eat the entire thing before you know it. I know your mouth is watering, so let's make this. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are measuring cups and measuring spoons, a double boiler, an 8x8 or a 9x9 pan can opener, a wooden spoon and a rubber spatula. Let's go ahead and move on to the ingredients. Now let's go ahead and go over the ingredients that we're going to need to make my fudge recipe. First thing that you're going to need is a can of sweetened condensed coconut milk. Now you can find this at a natural food store or at an Asian market. Just go look where all the other coconut milk and coconut cream is at and you'll be able to find it. If you're not able to find it, go to the bottom of the recipe at fatveganchef.com and I've got a link on where you can purchase it online. You also need a quarter cup of coconut cream. Now before you open up the coconut cream, give it a good shake to mix the liquid with the solids so that way you've got a nice consistent mixture when you measure it out for your fudge. One good pinch of sea salt, a tablespoon of vegan butter, three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one teaspoon of vanilla, some vegan butter to grease our pan with. Have your tools and ingredients all gathered up? Awesome. Let's go ahead and grease our pan. Now, what you want to do is just take some of this Earth Balance here or vegan butter and just lightly coat the bottom and sides of the pan. Get it all nice and greased up so that way the fudge comes out a lot easier. And also, what we're going to do after this is we're going to get our double boiler on the stove and we are going to heat up the water in there so that way the water and the top is nice and hot to start melting our chocolate so i've got this all nice and greased up so i'll see you over at the stove and we'll make some fudge we're at the stove as you can tell let's go ahead and cook some fudge first thing we want to do is this is hot i got the water simmering down below so we're going to go ahead and add the ingredients. It's real complicated. This is the three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, the good pinch of sea salt, one tablespoon of vegan butter, the one teaspoon of vanilla, one quarter cup of coconut cream, and the one can of sweetened condensed coconut milk. I have all of the ingredients in here. I'm going to go ahead and let everything all melt together. Once everything is all melted together, I am going to let this cook for a good five minutes. And then we'll go ahead and put it in the pan. Everything is all melted and mixed together. So I'm going to cook this for five minutes over a simmering heat. And then we'll put it in the pan. So I'll see you in five minutes. It has been five minutes. As it cooks nicely, we'll go ahead and kill the heat. And we're going to put this in our greased 8x8 eight eight or 9x9 nine nine inch pan. All right, ladies and gentlemen and children, I've got the fudge all nice and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator to cool down. And I'm going to let it cool down at least overnight. So I will see you when the fudge is ready to be served. It's been overnight and my fudge is nice and set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. And I have some hot water and a sharp knife. You want to get the knife hot, dry it off, and then start cutting your fudge pieces. Look at how good this fudge looks. If you made it, please let me know how it turned out. Please like this video and be sure to share it with your friends and family. Follow at your favorite social media site to keep updated on new recipes. We can be found at thefatveganchef.com. I do certainly appreciate it. Also, if you made this recipe and enjoy your content, please consider donating a few dollars to keep me going. You can find out how by going to tfbc.org forward slash donate. That helps me pay for the ingredients for these recipes. 
also pays for the hosting, the servers, the domain to keep this website up. Thank you very much and happy vegan eating.